Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin. It is November 1st, which means it is the start of a new event here on Crafting Kitty. It is time for a new Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. What? Okay, so if you're new, the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight is a mouthful to say. I fully recognize it, but I am stubborn and will not admit to my husband that that might have been a poor choice. So we forge ahead. <laughs> but basically we pick a creator and we celebrate them by making items or sharing items we have pre previously made based on their patterns or tutorials. So each month we pick somebody new and wait, no, I'm at the wrong part. I have like a spiel written down so I don't forget things. So, um, just off the bat, there will be a giveaway involved with it. I'll go through all those rules at the end, at the top of the video. I will say it is open worldwide, void where prohibited. So keep watching if you're outside of the United States. Um, so our creator for November 2024 is going to be Bonnie Bay Crochet. Oh, let me make sure I've got that name correct. I'm saying this is a new to me creator. It is Bonnie Bay Crochet. Yes. And she has, I've gone through her channel, she has both knit and crochet projects. So if you do either craft, you will find, you will hopefully find something that you want to participate in. Um, how do you participate? great question. You share pictures with me. So you can send pictures to my Facebook group, which is the Crafting Kitty community group. It'll be linked down in the description box. I will very soon put up a post where you can reply to the post and put your pictures and all of that. Um, if you don't use Facebook, you can email me at craftingkitty at gmail.com. Um, so I did mention there will be a surprise at the end. We have at least one winner. The number of total winners, winners is based on the number of participants. So the more who participate, the more prizes will be handed out. Okay, some notes. If your name on the platform in which you submit your project is different than what is used on YouTube, please let me know what to call you on YouTube. If you are a winner, I will announce that name. If um, I do a slideshow and I put names on the slides, so your name could appear there as well. If you do not want your picture included in the slideshow, that's totally fine. I will still include you in the giveaway. Just let me know and I'll put you on the spreadsheet for the drawing, but not in the slideshow. Um, with any of the entry methods, let me know the name of the pattern or tutorial that you followed. I say patterns or tutorials. I know Bonnie Bay has a website. So if you get the pattern through YouTube tutorials, that's fine. If you get the pattern through her website, totally fine. I have not gone to her website, so I don't know if they're paid patterns. But um, definitely the YouTube tutorials are free of charge that I've seen. Um, Additional information is appreciated, but not required. You know, like what hook or needle size you used, what yarn you used, what color of yarn you used, all that. Kind of nice, but you don't have to tell. It's okay. Um, I also fully understand sometimes projects have to be modified. Maybe you don't like the join on a granny square blanket. My eye itches and this is annoying. Um, maybe you have to change the size for fit reasons. Um, all of that is totally fine. Just let me know what pattern started you on your journey and you are good to go. We have even had people completely shift the craft. We've had people take knit projects and crochet them and crochet projects and knit them. Totally awesome. Again, just let me know what started you on your journey and we're good to go. To address time and project completion concerns, we do allow whips. There's no bright line test of, oh, you have to be 50% done or anything. That's not, that's not how we roll. And I'm not going to be out there measuring stuff. Who's got time for that? So basically the idea is you're working on something, it gets to the end of the month and you're like, man, I'm just not going to finish this. Send me a picture. It's probably totally fine. Like I have never rejected a whip. And like the only 
the only thing I could conceive of which nobody's ever tried is you send me a starting chain and say I'm making some sort of crochet blanket or something. And yeah, you probably are. Let's have a, a little bit more done than that, you know? Um, but like I said, no one's ever tried that. Everyone always participates within the spirit of the event, and I feel really stupid even saying anything about it, but you gotta, gotta set the rules. Um, please, we talked about the slideshow. Also, let me know if you do not want your picture included. If you submit a picture and you don't say either way, I will assume you want it included. Um, the one caveat there is if it's a picture of a child, I need you to explicitly say, you have my permission to use this picture. Just because images of children in social media is a touchy subject and I want to protect, make sure we're protecting the privacy of children as much as we can. But each family kind of deals with it differently and I totally understand. So, um, but I will not use a picture including a child without an explicit statement. I will include you in the giveaway, in the giveaway list, but it just won't be in the slideshow. Um, unless you say, Aaron, yes, you may use this. Um, we use a random method of selection at the end of the month to choose the winner. It's a, we use the spinny wheel of names. Um, usual giveaway rules apply. I'll go through that at the end. One thing I forgot to mention, you can t send me as many pictures of as many makes as you want, but you're limited to three entries in the giveaway. October had some special rules, but November we're going back to the limit of three. So you can send me five items. I'll put your name in the giveaway three times. That doesn't mean you can win three prizes. I will, although Lori just emailed me and thought that this feature might have been removed from the Wheel of Names. I hope not. But anyway, I think I can probably still manually take your name out. Um, I'll take your name out of the drawing and then re-spin. So you have like, you have multiple bites at the apple, but you won't win more than once during that specific giveaway. I don't care if you win month to month creator spotlights. I don't care if you win any other giveaways on my channel and the creator spotlight. If you are lucky, you get down with your bad self. You, you use those prizes. But um, I want to spread the love within the one event. And I think everyone, everyone understands that. Um, so Right now, I'm also going to announce the December uh, spotlight person because, again, for the project completion concern, some people want to get a leg up or need a little bit extra time. It might be like, oh, maybe not Bonnie Bay, but maybe I'll do the other one. And that's totally fine. Just don't send me anything for December until December. Send me November in November, please. I am not organized enough to deal with that. <laughs> I, I try, but I, I am not. Let's admit it, okay? Okay, so if you don't want to know, cover your ears. Mute me for a little bit. But um, in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, December is going to be another redo month. So twice a year we've been redoing um, creators that are often requested and so if I get a request for a person we've already done I add them to the redo list and our December redo is going to be Marley Bird. She has come out with so many wonderful new patterns and tutorials since we last explored her so that sounds weird since we last explored her content and um so I would love to see. The one ask I have on the redo is that you don't submit a project that you submitted the last time we did the creator. Some new stuff. It's okay if it's a project you made years ago. If you can send me of a picture, that's totally fine. But as long as you didn't submit that same project last time. It's honor system, but everyone participates within the spirit of the event, like I've already said. So please... That's, that's like my one ask there. Um, now, come on back if you were closing your ears. <laughs> I don't know if anyone really wants to be surprised. Each one's like, oh, ooh, get the popcorn. It's the announcement. <laughs> but um, 
giveaway rules. Let's quickly go through the rules of a giveaway. On giveaways open worldwide, void or prohibited, the winner is responsible for any taxes, duties, or other fees associated with or required by their country. I do not control your government. I do not control the postal system. I mark them as gifts and send them out. What other countries do with that is out of my hands. If you could please be a subscriber, that would be awesome. If you could please share us out, that would be doubly awesome. Um, those aren't requirements. It's just awesomeness. Everyone's trying to grow. Um, in order to enter, you have to post a picture in my Facebook group or email me, as we spoke about before. Um, entry received through other methods will not be included in the drawing. Giveaway is not associated with YouTube or any other company in any way. All items included in the giveaway were purchased by me personally using my own funds. No one is sponsoring. No one is nothing. Um... No, I wouldn't give away any yarn Brian gifted me. So, no. Um, I normally say it's Hirschner's yarn, but you know I've been doing the yarn management and I've been pulling yarn out of my collection and some of it's going into the giveaway box. So, could be Hirschner's yarn. I've got mostly Hirschner's yarn. I've got some Caron cakes in there now and some hobby yarn in there now. So, who knows what you could get. I don't know, although I do know there's some wool in there now, so I might have to ask if you are wool adverse or not. Um, giveaway starts today, November 1st, ends November 30th. I will announce the winner, hopefully within a reasonable time of that, of November 30th, 2024. Um, winners have to, oh, I used to say 5 p.m. I'm going to start having to draw earlier in the day, so I'm shifting giveaway times to noon my time. I'm central U.S. So noon, it's just easier for me to film in the day with the kiddos in school now. Um, winners have to satisfy all requirements for entering giveaways in your jurisdiction. YouTube requires you to be 18 years of age or older. The winners have 14 days to contact me and claim their glorious winnings. Um, if the prize has not been claimed by... Well, it'll be 14 days from whenever I announce. We'll assume December 15th, but I do allow if I post late additional time. Um, if it's not claimed, it'll just go back in the giveaway box and I'll give it away at another time. I don't do additional drawings. Um, I post a video announcing the winners. There'll be me, I'll be blabbering, there'll be the slideshow I mentioned, there will be the wheelie thingy, and it'll make horrible noises. Although... Fingers crossed I actually do the microphone at some point, um, so the horrible noises will be better. But, uh, what am I talking about? Oh, do not trust anyone in the comments saying, Oh, message me, you're on a short list. There's a list, it's the spreadsheet on my computer that I feed into the Wheel of Names. That is the only list. You do not message me until you see your name pop up and there's like, Blue, 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 and <coughs> all that good stuff. Then you know you've won. Then you email me and give me your shipping information. Don't do it before that time. Protect yourself. Okay, and finally, we are a pet-friendly but smoke-free home. We have two cats, two dogs, and everything's kept here, but you know air circulates, stuff might be on clothes. I take it downstairs for shipping, so I do try to limit that time just in case, but... If you are severely allergic, keep that in mind. Um, I actually did meet with an allergist, and she did tell me that the idea of the hypoallergenic dog is a myth. Um, she said what most people are allergic to is a protein in the urine and saliva of dogs. And um, you can be allergic to the dander, but that's more of a dust allergy. Um... Anyway, so her joke was, they have yet to breed a dog who can't pee. So, I'm like, oh, darn it. But that's okay. Um, I did find out I am allergic to our dogs. <laughs> but it's a very, very slight allergy. She assured me we do not have to get rid of our pets. They will stay. I will medicate. Likely a different decision will be made down, years down the road. You know, like we won't probably go out to get a new dog in any time in the future. But 
That is hopefully years online. We don't like to think about that, but as pet owners, it is the rainbow road or the rainbow bridge is a reality. We know that. Erin, you're a downer. You are a downer. Um, let's end here before it gets worse. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Um, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, I love you all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.